How's it going, guys? This is the North South Sports Opinion back with you for for, for my Week Eight college football wrap up. Uh, let's get right to the big news of the week, and that was Texas A&M's loss at Auburn. I mean, when you look at the stats of this game, you know, especially on the ground, you know, it really shows that Texas A&M is a really faulted team. Their defense is terrible. Manziel got injured. I'll get to that in a second because I know a lot of A&M fans who watch this video, I'm going to get a lot of comments that say, you know, if Manziel wouldn't have been injured, you know, you would have won that game. Um, 371 yards of rushing offense against the A&M defense. Come on. Come on. You give up almost 400 yards of rushing on the ground, you give that up alone, and that's not that's not a total yardage, folks. That's one stat. And then you know you get a real mature, real like young quarterback in Marshall, who I think matured immensely this this week alone because. When they stacked nine in the box to stop the rushing attack, what did he do? He played audible to play action, and they bid on it just about every single time. You know, so he was he had the wherewithal to go, oh, nine in the box. All right, audible. Okay, and then he ended up, it would lead to points. Excuse me. Um, you know, the Manziel injury, um... I know he played the whole game. You know, he missed two series or something like that. I know he played most, like, 99.8% of the game. You know, and, and he has been, you know, and he has a little bit of my respect for, you know, playing through injury. But when it comes to that, you have to protect your NFL future because we've seen it happen with Sam Bradford. You know, Sam Bradford come back and had the shoulder injury again. And it hurt his draft stock. Now, of course, he still went. I believe he still went first or second round, first or second pick. But, um, you know, I just that upset to me. It really cemented Auburn as, you know, they're going to go ten and two probably. They're going to go ten and two with a loss at Alabama. Um, you know, and ten and two under first year under a first year head coach, of course, really. I don't consider him to be first year. I mean, he was gone for a year. Would be woohoo. He was at Auburn, you know, two or three seasons. So, you know, ten and two is a great year. It can it compared to what they came back from last year under Chiswick and not even winning an SEC game. Um, I do believe that since they will have a lot of guys coming back, they will be a front runner for the national title. I believe that the SEC is going to get back to what it used to be where we would beat each other up, and then nobody would win the national championship because we'd all have one or two losses. You know, moving on from that, let's look at another team that I think is making waves, and that, of course, is the Tennessee Volunteers. You know, the the win at Carolina, it was a tough win. You know, they proved they could win the tough games. Uh, they proved that they are able to stick in there, stick it out, and still play good. And, and and that is a staple of every Butch Jones team we see. Uh you know, it's you know, I'm I, with them playing Alabama next week or this coming week because it's Monday. Uh with this coming week, they can beat the Tide. If the Tide go in there asleep and not even interested in playing, they will lose to the Vols. No doubt in my mind. They will lose to the balls. Um, and really, you know, Tennessee fans have nothing to be, you know, sad about. I mean, yeah, of course, they want to win every game like every other college football fan. But, you know, for, again, from what they've came back from, from a team being totally decimated with no talent, and even when they did have the talent, they weren't used pop properly. Yo, this is a great year. I mean, they're going to be SEC East front runners next year. So, you know, and I, and I hate to keep looking forward because we're not even through this year yet, but that's just what I'm seeing. LSU's loss this weekend, that doesn't really show me anything. I mean, yeah, they lost. 
But it really doesn't matter. I mean, it's always going to be LSU is always going to be a good team. Even if they lose, they're going to bounce back. I mean, they always do. And, you know, they've got the Alabama game coming up, and they give Alabama everything but the kitchen sink. So, I mean, their season's not a total, not a total waste. I mean, you know, in the SEC, that's going to happen. You're going to get upset. And that's what happened. They just got upset. I mean, so the loss, the loss to me shows me nothing because I know they're still a good team. I know they still have a great defense. The defense couldn't stop anybody, but... Again, the defense is still great there because they have the talent. But that does it for this week, guys. I've got a blog that I do. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the link in the description. Uh, I've got an email. I'm gonna give that to you. And please let me know what you what you guys think. Have a good day, guys.